everybody out there I uh, just wanted to make a quick video uh, doing a pressure washing job deck cleaning out here and uh, what is this Cummings Georgia We're really really up north here uh, past Georgia 400 so uh, basically we got a deck technically three decks we gotta do those stairs see those beams with the, the algae growth and everything like that um, got algae growth underneath the deck okay gotta make sure all that gets clean so I got me an extension pole with the brush right here I uh, got my solution here I'm using what they call a 30 second cleaner for this one and I'm also using crud cutter uh, that's uh, specialized for decks. I want to come in, make sure all these stairs are clean. And as you can see on the side, the siding needs to be clean also. Okay. And then when we come up to the top, got some spider webs, a little bit of dirt. Check that out. Okay. I'm going to use this surface cleaner to speed things up a little bit. All right. Looks like uh, the paint was already stripped off of it. You did the, the stripping yourself, the stripping of the paint yourself? I didn't do anything, to be honest with you. Oh, okay. Yeah, they uh, already started stripping the paint off of it. Let's see. Are you helping daddy or no? No? And then, come all the way around. We have even more deck in the front. Now this estimate came to about 314, 315, and the client asked for a hundred dollars off. Now with this hundred dollars came with a lot of fast talk, and you already should know what that fast talk means. So the person agreed that hey, as long as it looks better, that's what he's looking for. He's not a complainer, and he also said that uh. You give us a five star review. Now, when customers talk like that, nine times out of ten, they're not going to follow through. So, I'm not expecting anything. But I was grateful that this customer allowed for me to come at my own time, my own leisure, and work at my own pace. So, it's the only job I got for the day, which is good. So, after I get finished here, I can go home, be with my family. But pretty much, uh, I'm not expecting much out of this because the project costs a number for a reason. I gotta make sure all this is clean and make sure it's tip top 100%, but not getting paid 100%. Now, when I came and asked for the balance of $100 to be paid up front, I was met with uh, resistance. And he said, I started off on the wrong foot. He had no understanding that there are some customers out there that just don't pay. Especially when they start inviting you inside their homes and offering you coffee and tea and food and everything like that. Uh, just in my experience, that's a, uh, a red flag. You know, seems like trying to butter you up so you can forget what you're there to do and uh not be professional so anytime that happens um that then lets me know i need to be on my p's and q's so we're going to go ahead and get started on this work order and um i'm going to post the probably the progress so you can see how well this 30 second cleaner uh works and everything like that all right then thank you